You know, some uh, years ago when I was in Egypt uh, shooting the Ten Commandments, uh, just before I parted the Red Sea, I remember saying, <laughs> no, no kidding. I remember distinctly saying, if this works, someday I'm going to go open an art center in Louisville, Kentucky. Opening night here was a fantastic time. The celebrities, the dignitaries, the, the red carpet, you know, uh, the black tie. <laughs> it was just wonderful. And you know, Dick Van Cleek started the uh, Lonesome Pine series when he first came in. He had that all in, in mind. I, and I, I envied him that first year because I didn't have a series. But he put that together and that series grew uh, tremendously. <laughs> The Lonesome Pine Specials were internationally shown, and now they're housed in the Smithsonian as this great example of Americana music. They were unique shows, almost uh, like a little bit of Austin City Limits. They had never been seen before. They were produced. And I think that there was a great pride at the time that the center was built um, 30 years ago that Kentucky would have a state-of-the-art performing arts center. And the leaders got together and they made that happen. And today, you know, we see 90,000 school kids a year that come through here to see Stage One Children's Theater and other, other programs. And we have children from all over the state that come in here with the Music Educators Association, KMEA. And the Broadway shows bring in people from not only the state, but all over the country and the world. We have to be collaborators. Um, I mean, the, the biggest arts group in the building, you know, can't put up a wall, we, we do things in lockstep together. We're celebrating this 30th anniversary together. Um, we purposely booked War Horse to open the night, of the 30th anniversary night, because it's such a classic and beautiful production. But it, it's not just any building. It's because of the people in here um, who make it such a joy to work. It, it's our building, and that's kind of cool. This was a marvelous magnet for growing all of the arts, the ballet grew, the orchestra grew, Broadway, everybody grew. Um, it's not quite that easy today uh, because other things are competing for our attention. The arts are a mechanism that reaches inside the, the spiritual part of, of life, you know, it, it, it ties things together. It um, brings people uh, together in celebration. You know, they can participate uh, jointly in something that is, has a kind of community feel uh, that all communities, all people need, I think. And I think it gives people hope uh, despite uh, the obstacles that are there before us. So it's essential as far as I'm concerned. Art is more than just coming to see, to see a show and be entertained. I mean, it is that, but it's families coming together and sharing moments and memories that they will have a lifetime. They'll have a lifetime of that. Um, with our education programs, there are children that maybe they aren't inclined to do sports, but this is a way that they can um, learn through music and through the arts how to be part of a team and to work together and um, to communicate. And we're very well respected in the industry because nobody's quite like us. We do a lot of our own programming and presenting um, and not a lot of centers doing the depth of education that we're doing. And um, aside from that, we've just got um, some of the best uh, groups that use the center. So the Broadway series brings in just amazing shows uh, every year. The orchestra and the ballet, of course, Stage One, uh, the opera at the Brown. So we're one of the few cities in the country that have all of those groups and they're great groups. And so this is a busy, busy place. In fact, um, I think it was a few years ago, we were in the top 10 in Billboard uh, worldwide for the number of people that, that we bring to the center for facilities like the center. So I think the, the center was really 
built for the community. It's, it was built for Louisville, for the state, for the region. So the one thing I'll say about the center is that uh, it's always different and it's always changing. And the center that's going to be here 30 years from now will be a very different center than is here right now. But it will be here for the Louisville community, for the region, for the state. Thank you.